What was your verdict on that on that pre-season performance? Yeah, it was. I mean, I think we got out of it what we wanted, really. I mean, it was un- unbelievably hot out there, so naturally the tempo went kind of up and down and very dry pitch. So, I mean, I. I didn't expect us to look like a polished finished product by any means but the most important thing was everybody got 45 minutes into the legs at the end of a very tough first week and come through unscathed um, ready to go again on Monday. Uh, you kept the trialist names under wraps but the, the, they were revealed finally today how did you think they all got on? Yeah they did well I mean it's certainly not easy just coming into a team and not knowing and having the connections and all of them applied themselves really really well um, showed bits of quality on why we're looking at them um, yeah and it just gives us a bit more food for thought um, Carl Bennett obviously caught the eye when he came on in the second half um, obviously had a hand in the opening goal and then scored an absolute stunner what did you make of his second half performance good yeah you know you can see obviously he's been at a, a good level and he's got lots of quality great with the ball and dropping down and making things happen so yeah you know came on second half and, and I would say probably for everybody in the second half they were the, the, the boys in the first half did a great job to to kind of take the brunt of the the tempo and then our lads could control it a bit more in the second um, you, you've you've obviously had a couple of trialists in with you this week what's the plan now moving that moving forward for them yeah I think you know to we, we'll talk to them over this weekend and, and probably early next week and start a few more sessions really I don't think we need to rush on anything they're, they're training well and I think it's good for them they're, they're building their pre-season fitness and it's good for us because you know it adds something to the sessions so I'm not in a rush to make any decision but we'll uh, we'll keep looking at them and assessing them through the week it was lovely to see Damien McCrory get on the score sheet as I know well, yeah it? yeah that was great it was great for him to be back and he's you know like I said before he's a great lad and I was more than happy to have him back and help him out and, and he helped us out today so that's great I mean is there a potential there that he could come back if he's good enough in the summer? No, I think we talked at the end of the season and, and we're probably well covered in that position, as we know, signing Kyle Cameron as well, who can play in there. Um, so it's it's not necessarily something that we're looking at, but certainly, you know, for Damo, it was something important that, you know, he needs to, to maintain his own level of fitness for to be ready for, for him. So, like I said, if we can help a, a player out that's given a lot to the club and, and he can give something back, that's great. Um, obviously, Ruben Rodriguez, Elijah Sam, Callum Roberts weren't there today. Um, neither Frank Vincent. What's the latest you can tell us about them? Yeah, you can see there, uh, Ruben and Alicia are running and running hard. They missed a couple of sessions I'll last thank you week. For that. Yeah, <laughs> and it's warm. They're trying to do it in the shade. Um, um, Frank Vincent needs a few weeks. Uh, he had a knee injury at the back end of last season. He's still recovering from that, so we're building him up. Uh, Cal Roberts looked great last week in training, but we just wanted to let him complete a full week, see his response to it, and hopefully then you know, we might see him uh, all being well a bit more in the Telford game. But like I said before, with Cal, it's like a day by day and make sure that we're, you know, we're not jumping ahead of ourselves. Um, Carl Cameron, you, you obviously made him, made him one of your first signings. Uh, played really well in the first half, nice, calm and composed. How did you rate him? Uh, great, yeah, he just looked so comfortable out there. Every header looked comfortable on the ball, led the team. So, yeah, I mean, it was great to see that kind of stature. He got on right in the end of the first set piece that we nearly scored as well. So, yeah, really happy with, with how he came in. And Joel also came in and, and gave us something 1v1 in that wide area in the second half. So, pleased with uh, you know the players, certainly the ones that have come in for the first games, how they did. It would be remiss of not to mention Tiernan Brooks because in the first half he made a couple of absolutely fantastic saves, didn't he? You must be absolutely thrilled with him. I think he's doing great. You know, he's really progressed through the, the last year and uh, you can see physically he looks great now and his distribution was good and when he was called upon he made two great saves. So that's what we want, we want competition in that area and Sam came on and also did really well. So, uh, yeah, very happy with that. Um, transfers, that's always dominating the agenda what can you tell us what's the latest and are you any closer to any deals yeah we are really close now I think we'll probably have a couple over the line yeah certainly by this time next week but I would think early next week I'm hoping to have a couple completed Um, we've worked really hard on it now and I I feel quite confident that we're going to get there with a couple what positions are they well, that, uh, that I'm not going to tell you. You can wait until uh, early next week to find that out. But, you know, we're working. I've said before that we, we obviously need to strengthen through the middle of the pitch, um, you know, through the central midfield areas and centre forward. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Would they be free agents? or uh, I mean, because we've obviously signed Joel Taylor and paid a fee for him, didn't you? Yeah, uh, these will be. You know, well, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> nothing's free. <laughs> you should <laughs> play poker. In the, yeah, uh, well... Badly, yeah, I should, but no, uh, there's no fees attached on the ones that we're looking at at the moment. Um, but you know, like I said before, if the if there is a fee attached, we just kind of measure up the whole package to decide if we think it's the right thing. So we're not kind of hamstrung by that. Um, it's more to to make sure that we get the right people through the door. 
brilliant, lovely, thank you. But uh, I think we should also say, I, I just want to mention the academy lads because we didn't talk oh, yes. about them. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and for me, I thought they did great. You know, you've got to understand that we had two 16-year-olds start a game today in front of the best part of a thousand people, debut for knots, um, and, and accounted themselves really, really well. Um, and the two boys coming in the second half, exactly the same. So four debuts for academy players. Um, I think it's a, a really, really good thing as well for the football club. Yeah, how, how would you assess him? Because it, it was, Archie was given a tough time against Luke Shaw, wasn't he, on that far side? I tell you what, they, they got two very good strikers there. And uh, if you look at Archie's first involvement, he picks the ball up and he plays a pass through three defensive lines and, and sets us off on an attack. So he was calm. Of course, he got caught a couple of times and I'd expect that against two good players. But, you know, he, he wasn't stressed. He wasn't phased. He, he approached the game in a good way, um, as did the other boys. So I think it's a, a credit to them and the academy. Can we expect to see more of them moving forward yeah, through the season? Yeah, possibly. I, I'd, I'd like to keep them in and around the first team and, and see where their capabilities lie. And, and uh, certainly we want to be open to have players up from the academy and progress.